Good morning, guys. Guess what we're doing today? My most favorite thing in the whole wide world. Not really. But tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I need to do something to fix my hair because I got roots coming in. So there's um, a lot of the uh, questions that I see about how to dye um, dreads. So I am going to walk you guys through what I do and hopefully it will help. Okay, so this is the one that I use. Okay, uh, it's L'Oreal Paris Le Blondissimus. I know that is not how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it because I don't know any other way. Okay, this one is the LBO2, the uh, natural blonde. I'll put a link to it below so you guys, if you guys uh, want to try this one, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have our number one. Okay, then we have. Our number dos, aka two. And then our handy dandy conditioner, which is a big fat no no for dreads. So this is going back in the box. Garbaje. Bad. All right. <clears throat> now, this I, I have like formal complaints over mm -hmm. because I'd like to know. Unless they fixed it and it's different than it was a few months ago, which I doubt. What are these? What are these? Whose hands are this big? Like seriously. I usually buy my own gloves, like the, the medical gloves in the pack when I do my hair because I mean like seriously, if I go ahead and like actually put these on my hand, like the way, it, what is this? Really? How are you supposed to work with these? Complaint, L'Oreal, complaint. Make your gloves a little smaller, tighter, whatever. Give options. Include a couple. It can't be that expensive to make. You can buy like a box of 60 of them for four bucks at Harbor Freight. All right. So I'm taking this one, which is my number one. I am opening the bottle. Take my number two and I pour it into the number one. Get all in there, yummy yumminess. Put the cap back on. You're supposed to take this little thing off first. I don't because I don't like it to get all over the place, but I guess they say to do that because the bottle could explode. I've never had it explode on me. Hope it doesn't do it right now, although that would be kind of funny. Okay, you shake it up really, 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 really good. And don't mind my face. I don't have like makeup makeup on yet because I knew I had to get in the shower to wipe this or to wash this stuff out. So, all right, then you just take the little tab off. It's really, really simple. It's one thing L'Oreal did right on this. All right, so now you're going to have to bear with me. I've got a little tiny mirror in front of me because I need to watch what I'm doing too, and I cannot see in that camera what I'm doing. So just bear with me while I'm showing you guys how I do this. All right, so I take it. So I just do the roots. I don't do my whole head. If you want to dye your whole entire hair a different color, all of your dreads, then of course you can use it all over. It's going to be hard to get out all over, but especially if you have long dreads. I got hair in my mouth, but it can be done. All right. So here I go. I take it and just put it in here, just where my roots are. Move your dreads around. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't know what this is going to come out like because I can barely see what I'm doing in this little tiny mirror in front of me. All right, so basically I'm just moving my dreads around, getting into the roots. Hopefully you can see, see that. And 
I'm dripping it all over the place. I'm making a mess. Sorry. They should also put like a little bit more in these bottles for people that have long hair because my daughter, she had long hair like her whole entire life. She didn't really like cut her hair until she was like 20. It was always like down to her butt her whole entire life. And um, every time we would buy hair dye, we would have to buy like freaking almost three bottles to get the job done. And it was horrible. So maybe like, an, you know, the option to buy a box that has two included. I've got all these suggestions for L'Oreal. Go me. Okay. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Right now I'm going to do a time lapse. Um, and I'll come back and show you guys the results after I'm done washing it out. I don't, I usually leave it in like for like an hour. I don't even know what the, the actual time says to leave it in for. But... I usually, oh, it stinks. Ugh. I usually leave it in for like an hour. So, I will be back. Bye, guys. And we have the after. Yay. All right, I think I lost a dread somewhere along the way. It happens sometimes when you're dyeing your hair. Um, if that happens to you, I do have a video out there for attaching. Um, dreadlocks so just watch that and I will go and do that now because I know I lost one or maybe two okay I hope you guys have a really happy Thanksgiving let me just show you guys see and if you compare it to the before picture you can see how well it works Ta -da! all fixed bye guys